What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Tis I, Neo Defective, and I have a new fix. Hopefully, this is the fix all to end all issues for Battlefront 2 that I've currently been exposed to. That being the CPU, GPU, 100% usage. Either you had it in the CPU, or you had it in the GPU, and it was bottlenecking. That's the key word here. Bottleneck, if you haven't heard from it. Well, we're going to have to limit our frame per second to unbottleneck our situation. Because what's been happening is uh, Battlefront 2 has no frame cap. There's no limit to it. So it's running at a thousand frames per second or whatever you're capable of crunching down in your GPU. If you have a 1080i, well, guess what? Yeah, I'm sure it's not running right. Everybody, I have a 980 and not running right. I have an i7, not running right. 100% CPU is usage on either end. So what I did to finally fix this because I found small little workarounds, but this one got it. You gotta go to Chrome. You gotta go to MSI Afterburner. You see this? MSI Afterburner. If you don't have it, get it. Click on it. Right where it says downloads up here. You can do it from the top. I just scrolled down for no reason. MSI Afterburner. Download Afterburner. You click on that and it's gonna ask you to download Reva. Do it. Just get it out of the way. Trust me because that's gonna be the software that's gonna limit your frames per second then once it's all completely downloaded you're gonna have something that looks like this this is pretty much meaning you're on the right track uh, the cogwheel first thing you're gonna do bada bing open that little bitch up okay go to monitoring and in OSD it's showing that it's displaying well what I suggest you do it's because you're gonna have to <laughs> is go all the way down scroll down here see where it says frame rate frame rate click that check mark that means you're gonna be able to limit or pretty much you know alter what your frame rate is now I kind of want to put this all the way at the top it just makes it a little bit easier to to monitor it uh, also to keep it uh, on your screen if you really want to know in real time what your frame rate is get up there you little normally I'll, I'll drag it all the way up but sometimes it doesn't work and right now it is so that's good okay so where it says show in on screen display click on frame rate click show in on screen display you're gonna see something right next to the properties where it says in OSD doing good Go to on-screen display tab on the very top next to monitoring and on toggle on-screen display I have it at F9 it just allows you to see it on screen the top left so makes it a little bit easier okay now after I hit OK it's gonna take a second you're gonna see a little thing that pops up down here and this is what you're gonna be using to control it so F9, if I hit it, you're going to see that turns on. F9, turns off, turns on. Cool. You're doing well. So where it says frame rate limit, this is the fix. Ladies and gentlemen, I put this little bad boy all the way up at 60. And that's my fix. <laughs> Once you get to this point, uh, I noticed that the temperature went down, the usage went down from both ends, CPU and GPU. Every now and again, you'll have that 100% spike, which sucks. It looks bad, but you're always going to have some kind of 100% spike because things and processes are happening in the background of your rig that you just don't see that your rig is handling for you because it's such a, such a good friend. It's your baby, and you don't want it to get destroyed playing a crappy game or even a good game. So this is what gets you to the dance folks i hope this works for you if you have to change some settings within the game well don't blame me for that maybe you just can't run it properly if you have to enable or disable directx 12 to get it to work hopefully that works if you have to put all your settings on high or custom ultra like i have mine well hopefully that works either way this particular software msi afterburner is what you're going to be needing hopefully you already actually have it installed and that way you don't have to go through all the download process and you just get here you go to your frame rate data you limit it to 60. Tzai, Neo Defective, signing out. Oh make sure to turn your frame rate data back to whatever you want to zero if you're running any other game. Signing out.